All right, let's start with business organization analysis. First step, understand your business and understand your business practices. Take a look at which functions are critical, which are the core business functions without which you cannot run your business. You have to evaluate the tangible and the intangible value on each critical function. Now, if you think about each process that your business is involved in, some have very tangible values in that they produce a distinct profit. Others, you invest money in for the intangible value. One example may be car manufacturers spend a large portion of their marketing budget and their advertising budget making owners of their cars, in other words, people that have already bought their cars, feel good about their purchase. So that's a very intangible value. The commercials to encourage users of the product that, yes, you made the right choice, doesn't produce a direct revenue, but it makes for a longer-term revenue and cuts down on people being dissatisfied with the product, which could, in turn, stop someone else from buying their product. So very much of an intangible value. You need to take a look at both of those. Once you understand your basic business practices, then identify all the stakeholders in your business continuity plan. The stakeholders are people that will be directly affected, and from this, you will start developing your team. You need to look at each of the operational departments. Which departments directly contribute resources to the critical business functions? Likewise, critical support services. You may find that operational departments offer resources towards business functions, but critical support services are also necessary to make sure that those business functions continue whenever there are issues. And then you must consider senior executives. Many different reasons why senior executives must be considered a stakeholder in business continuity planning. First and foremost, the senior executives are responsible for the direction of the company. The direction of the company, of course, would include maintaining and working through minor interruptions.